everyone. Uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to present our researches. The topic is magnesium amino clay based FE3O4 TiO2 hybrids for UV light driven calorimetry detection of phenolic compounds. Uh, my name is Munil Gim. Uh, uh, nowadays, nanozymes uh, is a kind of hard research topic. Uh, nanozyme indicate nanomaterial based artificial enzyme and the first finding of nanozyme uh, is re has, was reported in 2007 in Nature Nanotech papers. In the paper, the authors reported that Fe3O4 magnetic nanoparticles shows an intrinsic peroxidase enzyme like activities. After that, many different kinds of nanomaterials have been reported as nanozymes. Uh, Nanozymes are intrinsically nanomaterials, uh, so uh, they are uh, intrinsically highly robust and stable, and they, they can be produced with low cost by facial mass production. The current major limitations are, there are that nanozymes uh, generally have low activity and uh, spec low specificity, and, and also the nanozymes have uh, somehow limited catalytic uh, uh, reactions, majorly limited to redox time reaction. So nowadays there have been many research trials to overcome these limitations. So the first finding in nanozyme research field is that the FE3O4 magnetic nanoparticles, the abbreviated name is MNP, the MNP have natural peroxidase-like activity. After that, uh, we reported uh, an interesting uh, strategy to, fi to, to find out that every ion containing amino clay have one intrinsic enzyme-like activity. We think that the every ion entrapped in amino clay can catalyze uh, some uh, redox time reaction like peroxidase. And then with the, uh, uh, with the every amino clay, we utilized this uh, structure to detect lung cancer cell. Uh, in this presentation, uh, we, uh, we developed an innovative strategy to increase the peroxidase activity of FE3O4-based material by incorporating TiO2 component uh, under UV radiation. Uh, the reason is that under UV radiation, TiO2 uh, can catalyze some photocatalytic reaction to, uh, help, to help the uh, radical generation from hydrogen peroxide, it can help uh, the catalytic action of FE3O4 component to increase peroxidase activity. So, so we think that the, compared to the only FE3O4 composite, FE3O4 TiO2 hybrid composite can enhance peroxidase-like activity under UV radiation. With the, with the enhanced activity, uh, we uh, apply this material to detect the phenol comp phenolic compounds under UV radiation uh, with, enhanced sens with enhanced activity and sensitivity to detect the phenolic compounds. So, uh, we uh, developed uh, three kinds of materials. One is uh, uh, magnesium amino clay based TiO2 material, the other is uh, FE3O4 material, uh, third one is uh, FE3O4 TiO2 hybrid material. Uh, by analyzing TM and SCM, uh, we uh, successfully uh, we, we can see that the composite material can be successfully formed. And also, the successful formation was further confirmed by XRD analysis. Uh, these are proof of concept experiments. Uh, as we expected, FE3O4 TiO2 composite can enhance the peroxidase-like uh, activity under UV radiation compared to the control materials. So uh, uh, we see the effects of reaction environments, reaction time, reaction con catalyst concentration, pH, and h 2 2 concentration. And then we uh, set up the optimal concentration. And then uh, we next uh, apply the uh, apply our material to detect uh, two kinds of phenolic compounds like uh, polycatechol and uh, resorcinol and then these two phenolic compounds are successfully detected uh, under UV radiation. These are the detection precision and uh, we got successful CV and recovery value. So these are conclusion. These are our collaborators. Thank you very much.